Ooh, she'll love it. She loves coming back and it being all clean. She's got a little shopping bag down there. Lights on, but this is my 17 week bump. There's something so wildly satisfying. Wow. It's a racing experience. Fuck out. <sighs> I'm tired though. I'm tired and I'm really hungry. It's amazing. Wow. I've also had a little blow dry, so I'm very excited to share my hair with you right now because I'm feeling glossy, I'm feeling bouncy, I'm feeling good. So in this vlog, I really want to share it with you because I've documented loads and I'm still going to continue to document loads. But this is my 16 to 18 weeks vlog of me being pregnant. I want to share this. I want to look back on it. It's very much us getting the house together because we've got loads of different moves that we're making with bedrooms, which I'll explain. Um, it's really exciting though. So yeah, if you want to watch me declutter, if you want to come to my scan with me, my gender scan, scan which was amazing and very emotional and it's the cutest thing that Renalia does ever in the world like I'm so glad we documented that because it is just beautiful so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this vlog it's just a mismatch of me around the house me plodding along you get to see my bump updates bump growth just being pregnant behind the scenes so I really hope you enjoy it I love you guys so much until next time no, I'm not saying bye now. Enjoy. Wow, that's incredibly wonky. But hello, welcome to the second trimester. Today, I thought I would take you on a very long journey of whirlwind of emotions. Welcome to the underneath of my bed. Basically, Renalia's actually out today. She's being looked after. So that's really positive because she's having a lovely time. She's out at the park, enjoying herself, living her best life, which mommy was very emotional about yesterday because I know she needs to have time with other children, but I also want her by my side 24 seven, but I also want to get things done for her so that I can do all my work, get my editing done, get my TikToks filmed, get my Instagram stuff done, apply to my manager, do all those things right, tidy up the house, but also I want to be present with her. So if she's out for a couple of hours, it means that I can try and get things done. Spencer's gone today to London to a now TV event, which is really exciting for him. He's buzzing. I'm so buzzing for him. He's gone to like a go-karting track and I think Jensen Button's going to be there. So he's buzzing. So I'm going to be trying to tidy up this house. This house is a shambles at the moment and we're actually on our way to Spencer's mum's tomorrow for a couple of nights. So basically I have bags and bags and bags of makeup, right? That I'm really lucky to have. I have used a lot of it. I don't use all of it anymore. I have my set makeup that I use as a go-to. I'm probably going to keep like a couple of bronzers, a couple of um, blushes, etc. But I want the space under the bed. Like we're expanding at the seams. We've got lots of things actually coming. Oh, I'm so excited actually because we've got so many updates about the house because there's new things happening because obviously we need to change certain things around um, and we need more storage. We need more storage. So we've got a guy. We've got a guy, which I'm very excited about. And I know him from my childhood, which makes me really happy. Um... But I'll be documenting all that when things are coming. So I will be showing you all house updates. But basically, I'm going to be just decluttering today. Decluttering, tidying this mess of a house. It just gets on top of us. It just gets on top of us. And then I feel like we just don't have any time. So there you go. So today, the underneath of the bed is getting sorted. I've got loads of vacuum bags of clothes that I'm putting away that I don't fit anymore because I'm expanding. I'll show you the bump in a minute. Um, I'm currently 16 weeks. How many days am I filming this? I'm currently 16 weeks and two, one day. 16 weeks and one day when I'm filming this. So I thought I would get rid of loads of makeup because it's been used. I don't think I can do much with that except offer it to friends and family. So I'm going to make like piles for all of my friends and family. Plus... I was going to call like some women's refuge and see if they wanted some stuff if it hasn't been used. So the stuff that hasn't been used, I'm going to give to like women's um, refuges, uh, women's hospitals and stuff like that. So we're sorting things out today. So join me on this journey. You can see the house is an absolute shite hole. You'll have to bear with me because I haven't actually taken the tripod off. So I can't be bothered to dismantle it because I'm going to use it in a second. So this is me today. These trousers are amazing. They're really, really stretchy. They are from H&M. They're probably a little bit too big for me right now but I know I'm gonna fit into them very soon. So this is how we're looking today. It's very sucked in because I've got this bodysuit on, but this is how we're looking today. 16 weeks. You should see me by the evening, by the way. Oh my goodness. Because when you're bloated anyway, oh my God, I'll show you in the evening time how big I actually get. But this is way bigger. I feel like this is like a 20 week bump for my 16 weeks. Um, but apparently you do pop bigger or quicker on your second, but I don't care. I'm absolutely loving it. I love the journey of all of it. 
it's absolutely phenomenal. So little baby is just chilling, absolutely chilling. So there you go. So these are all of them. I've got stuff from Renee's that needs to go away. I've got loads of Ziploc bags of dresses here, stuff that needs to go from there. Sandals and stuff are fine. I've got bits in here that I just need to get rid of. Like I don't need that gel shellac thing anymore. I will donate that to charity. I've got a whole box of stuff back there. So let's get cooking. Malukin. I don't know who else is really bad at um, measuring things, but I have literal problems with it. I've bought sofas that don't fit before. I've bought curtains that just never fit. I bought so many things. So I bought loads of things from Ikea, one of which being these. So I wanted them to go in our drawers because me and Spence have these two drawers in here that are full of like underwear, socks and stuff and whatever. And who's, who's, who's anything's gonna fit in there? This was meant for bras. I was gonna have like two of them. I thought they were massive. Where's anything going to go in there? Spencer was like, that'll fit like two pairs of socks. I was like, yeah, it's not happening, is it, hun? So, that's me. That's just me. A terrible measurer. I've got to make space and I'm so, I've got to stop hoarding. I'm hoarding onto so many things that I'm like, how am I going to get rid of anything? Huns. Oh my God, what shade is that one? Banana bread. Can give that to someone. Laura Mercier, translucent. We love. Oh, I'm making such nice piles for my friends and such nice piles of people. I'm so excited. I've also got loads of new bits that I'll do as like a giveaway probably eventually. Okay, we're doing it. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six empty bags, Hans. I'm smashing this. Do you know what upsets me? That you have to go through all this mess to make it tidy. I've got a whole bag for my mum my beautiful friends that are becoming mums. Lots of bits in their skincare. I mean, so much makeup. It's a joke, but most of it's been used. Some of it hasn't been, but there's so many palettes. There's NARS stuff, Charlotte Tilbury. Just everything, Huda Beauty, Too Faced, everything. Also, I've got lip gloss on because I was trying on lip glosses that I actually like or not just chugging them. Lots of rubbish stuff that needs to go away. Do you know the thing is that makes it easier to get rid of things is when you see sell by dates. Not sell by dates, the use by dates, the numbers on the bottom. And I'm like, mate, it says 6M. I'm like, I've had this for a lot longer than six months and haven't used it. So this stuff in here, I actually want to keep all of it. Um, I've got some really good hair products. I love the L'Oreal Absolute Repair Oil. I've got the Olaplexes in here, which I really like that oil. Um, some pharmacy products products, hair stuff, we need that when the summer comes, lots of Mamma Mia stuff for my bump and I've got all these stuff so I'm going to put lots of things in these bags. I've got this which has got all of my Lottie London collaboration in it which I'm so grateful that I ever got to do and I'm going to keep it for my children so that I can show them one time mum was cool. I'll also put my Revolution palette which is still boxed, my parents have got loads in their garage actually that are fully boxed and stuff and I've signed them for the siblings and my lucky friends is going to have a little laser because so I've got my brawn one so I feel like I'm obsessed with that, but I'm out of breath, but so far this is the only stuff that I'm keeping for myself. Started packing some of Renalia's stuff for, um, not actually packing it, sorry, just putting it into piles. I'm trying to work out what to wear, but I got this really cute little set from George, and I think her grandma's gonna love it. So I wear this one, and then I got another really cute set, which I thought was so nice. It's this little long sleeve top with this, which was £11.50. I think that's so cute. Look at it. It's got the little frills, and it's even got the little look at that. And then I got another set, and look how pretty this is. I love it so much. And that one was £12.50. I love George Asda. And I got this from H&M. It's a little balaclava hat. So cute. This just needs to go, Hans. This just needs to go. Actually, it doesn't, because we love it i bought it for spencer i didn't buy it for spencer i bought it for us but it's the lakeland one and it's got the cover the dry soon one which actually is amazing it's a lifesaver because we have only the downstairs really which is where the sun comes in well the back rooms are where the sun comes in um spencer surprised me with um a little trip to this place called heavenly desserts they had really nice vegan gluten-free things and this is us on a little polaroid it was in brighton it was the opening of the brighton one but we got this caricature done and it's so cool let me see if i can find the name of the guy his name is savage caricatures he's brilliant Brilliant. Right, so you thought I was done there. I'm not. So we're actually getting rid of this. Spencer bought me this and I absolutely love it, but it's so thin in here that it just has no space for me to be able to have any makeup. And I got rid of my tall Ikea drawers full of makeup because I don't have that much makeup anymore. Although saying that, I need to go through all of this as well now, which is really not exciting. Any vacuum bagging stuff that we don't need right now. So this is all my stuff that I want to wear in the summer that potentially might fit me. <laughs> There's something so wildly sat- wildly why does I sound American? There is something so wildly satisfying. There's something so wildly satisfying about getting rid of clutter though. It does make you feel so much more like zen and better and 
I just feel good about getting rid of things. Like I've had such a massive wardrobe declutter, love giving to charity. I've got loads of bits to take to Spencer's mum, buzzing about that. So I feel like I just love being able to get rid of things and being able to give back to people. Do you know what I mean? I empty my trouser drawers. I have no trousers that fit me. The only thing that fit me are like my stretchy joggers. These are okay at the moment. These jeans, the only pair of jeans that fit me. I have these wide leg trousers and these two maxi skirts, like stretchy midi maxi skirts. So I'm gonna need to invest in some other bits because Huns, I need some trousers up in here. But the thing is, basically I ordered some stuff from, have I got a tag on this still? Oh my God, I've got a tag on this. What am I like? But basically I ordered some, um, maternity trousers from ASOS but they're too big for me I would like my size on that but they're too big for me but then my size like six and eights are too big for me are too small <laughs> they're not too big they're too small and then I'm gonna buy some size 10 stuff but I think I'm just I don't know what to wear I don't actually know what to wear I'm just gonna wear loads of dresses that stretch and stuff at the moment get some leggings that stretch things like that at the moment I just want to feel a bit more comfortable because in the first trimester I felt really I was expanding which was amazing but also because I was going out and about and not wanting to show off my small little bump obviously it's not massive but you know it was it was bigger in the first trimester than it was before and I know lots of it's bloating anyway but I was worried what am I acting like I'm a fucking celebrity are you okay hun but I was worried that if anyone was to see they'd be like oh she's pregnant like I wanted to take Renee swimming and then I was like someone's gonna see my bump and then be like Imogen what's going on and then I'd be like secrets out um but I know if I saw one of you and was like can you not tell anyone I know you guys would actually back me and you're just amazing and so loyal and so amazing but I just felt a bit restricted in what I can wear but now I feel like I can wear tight things again I'm back to wearing my maxi dress and stuff so I just need to find I don't want to buy loads of size 10 stuff because I'll then grow out of that because I'll then get bigger and then what size am I going to wear? Do you know what I mean? And then I'm going to buy more size different clothes. And sometimes then you buy bigger clothes and they fit your bump, but they don't fit your legs. So this is where we're at the moment. We're in that in-between stage. We definitely will make it work. This is the stuff from Ikea that we get to put up. But I actually got these lights, but they're electric and they have to be stuck into the wall. Um, and I don't want to drill into the wall, so we're going to have to send these back. Renee needs little shoes for the summer from H&M. So cute. I got loads of these trays to go in those Alex drawers. They're not the tall, tall Alex drawers, but the shorter ones. I also got these and I don't know whether they're going to be too thick, but I thought they were really nice because you could put loads of things in them and that lifts up. But bear with me because I did look up on the internet and they did seem to fit the drawers, but <laughs> we all know I'm the worst. So basically, we had a chest of drawers before Renalia came and then we got rid of them in our bedroom, but I'm going to put the chest of drawers back to where the mirror is um so that i have at least a chest of drawers in there so once that's all assembled and i've got some bits going i'll let you know so angels today is project get the house clean we are starting to look a bit fresher in here but i just wanted to give you a bit of an update i will not wear this dress out without any tights on but this is my 17 week bump looking very sweet i've actually tied it tighter at the back because it's quite loose this dress but it's a gorgeous dress from h&m but i feel like my bump is definitely moving up a little bit so we're in 17 weeks now We've got a scan on Sunday, so I will take you along for that. And I'm gonna start tidying up Renalia's room. I've got some bits upstairs from Ikea, so thought I'd show you, but yes, very much looking gorge. I love it. I feel like this is like my 20 week bump with Renalia, but you definitely do show quicker. Can you see how it like ruffles funny down here? You see what I mean? It like pulls a bit and that's without me doing this. Spence is just shaving, but this is clothes that all need to go away. So this is fun. This goes on the floor because I think I'm going to sit down with Renalia. This is just a morning of play. This is just a morning of play, everybody here. So wish me luck with tidying. I had some really exciting deliveries because this bedroom, as you know, is completely changing. Um, I had, I ordered this amazing glamour mirror. I don't know where I ordered it from. It's actually called Glamour Mirrors, where I bought it from. It's called Billy. I won't be getting that out yet because I haven't actually got my dressing table here yet from Ikea but I have got this and I'm very excited about it because basically I've sorted out and decanted all of my makeup. So I, this is all my makeup now to date completely, except my makeup bag over on the table over there, but I'll show you. So this is like hair stuff, makeup stuff, lots of TikTok shop stuff that I do, makeup, brushes, makeup. This is giveaway stuff, more brushes, but this is all giveaway stuff here, jeans to go away. But I bought this from Ikea, it's a little Alex drawers. So basically when we start moving things around, this is just gonna be, I don't need that much makeup anymore. I don't have, I mean, I have a lot, yes, but these drawers are amazing and I, oh, I got these. I am not the best when it comes to like sorting things out. Like where's my makeup brush is gonna go? I would think that they'd go in the top bit here, but maybe that should be like, should I go in order of how I do my face? Do you see what I mean? Or should I just do bigger bits towards the bottom? 
I really don't know. I'm really bad, but I'm gonna sort through it. I'm out of breath 24 seven at the moment. Let's just not even talk about it, but it's absolutely fine. I'm loving it. I've got so much more energy, even though I'm out of breath. <sighs> I'm gonna get changed because this dress, I feel like it's like I'm taking it out of me. Update, 17 weeks pregnant. Got loads more energy, loads more energy. Um, I'm waking up at like four o'clock in the morning most mornings. Renee's waking up at half five, so that's fun. But I'm waking up at four o'clock in the morning and I'll go to the toilet and sometimes I can't get back to sleep. I am weeing like nobody's business. I feel like a cow or like, I don't know, you know, it literally is like, how can you store that much? I had my 16 week midwife checkup and that was really, really nice. She was really nice. Um, everything's looking good. My blood pressure, my urine at the moment, but obviously lots of things change as you go forward. So yeah, positive 16 week appointment. I'm looking into some hypnobirthing courses. I found this lady in Brighton called Hello Baby Brighton. She has like a, an award winning course. And I really want to take it. And it's like, it's like prenatal. So it's all before, then it's like birth and all of that. And then it's postnatal as well. And it's sleep coaches you have on there. Like it's a whole package. And I was looking on the website and it was sort of talking about how they, they want to have one whole course for everything because there's lack of support after a woman gives birth. And they actually have like a postnatal doula come to you if you pay for the course. They have a postnatal doula that comes to you. So I was looking at that. I've also looked at another lady, which I really like, uh, the Naked Doula on Instagram. Love her, we'll definitely be doing her course. So that's exciting. This is going to be TMI for lots of people, so just click off this if you don't like TMI. But I've got a lot of discharge down there. I didn't have as much with Renalia. This is a lot, a lot more. Um, but that's absolutely fine. It's the, it's the hormones, it's the loveliness. Um, I'm still just craving everything cold, sweet. I'm still craving. I just want to eat and eat and eat, basically, all the time. What else? Drinking lots of water feel like I haven't really got much more updates. Got a little bit of back pain when I'm lying in the bed sometimes, but nothing really drastic. Oh, I went to this Pilates thing, right? I went to this, I wanted to join a class because I, I was like, I want to get my body moving maybe once a week. So I called this company in Brighton. They had like, baby, do you need to come in here? Uh, well, come in here if you need to, baby love. I'm only vlogging. He's just had a shower, so he might be naked. That's what he was worried about probably. I got there and I was, I called up three times, three different people I spoke to and I was like, do you do pregnancy courses? Do you do pregnancy Pilates? They were like, we actually do a bar class. And I was like, oh, brilliant. I was like, I don't know which class to come to for the bar because there's a beginner or an intermediate. And they were like, have you ever done bar before? I was like, yeah, I did ballet most of my life. Um, and I trained in London. And they were like, oh, brilliant. Like, come to the intermediate, that's fine then. And I was like, I am pregnant. They were like, that's fine. Turn up to this class, pay for parking, get so excited. I go into this coffee shop and I'm like, I'll be back in an hour. I'm just gonna go to the class. and I'm gonna come back and buy my, myself and my husband like a little smoothie or something. Really excited. Went to the class. I was really apprehensive though, because I do get apprehensive about these things. Spencer knows that. I just get nervous before I go somewhere just because it's like new people and they probably all go there all the time. They know what they're doing. And there's me like, hi. And then I got there and she was like, you okay? And I was like, yeah, where do I put my stuff? And she was like, um, have you never been before? I was like, no, no, I've never been before. She was like, oh, okay. And I was like, I'm pregnant, so I'm really excited. She was like, pregnant? And I was like, yeah, um, yeah, I'm pregnant. She was like, have you got a bump? And I lifted up my jumper and she was like, oh, I stopped doing my pregnancy class. That looks nice, baby love. I stopped doing my pregnancy class a long time ago. And I was like, wait, I've been told by three different people on reception that this is the class to come to. Even the people on the reception were saying to me, like, it's amazing. She tailors it completely to pregnancy people, pregnant people, like pregnancy people. She tailors it to completely to pregnant people. Like, absolutely. She will literally give you like different things. She'll say like, okay, this is the variation for the pregnant women. So I was like, this sounds amazing. Anyway, long story short, I got a bit upset. And then they were like, we're so sorry. I got a bit upset probably because I'm just hormonal, but I was really looking forward to this class. But obviously it's not their fault that they don't have pregnant people in there. They were like, do you do cardio? And I was like, no. And they were like, this is really high intensity cardio as well. And you'd have to speak to your doctor before doing that. Like you can't be in here. And I was like, okay. I was like, I walk sometimes. They were like, yeah, no, not this cardio. So that was fun. So, and then I called another lady who was advertising at my midwifery. And she hasn't got back to me. She just goes to me. I was like, oh, can I come to the class? She was like, yeah, it's this place, this place. She was like, but you need to apply online. I was like, okay, brilliant. What's the website? She was like, oh, I need to speak to my um, the admin and they'll email you. Never got an email. Emailed myself because I was chasing her because I'm such a desi. She still doesn't want me. So there you go. I'm just going to be at home and I'll just be, I'll, I'll be just growing. I'll be growing, not stretching the bod. Do you know what I mean? I just can't do YouTube videos that much on it. Like, especially pregnancy ones. Cause I just feel like I want someone to be there going, you haven't got the right posture or you've got the right posture. But anyway, it makes me so happy. Oh my God, I'm out of breath coming up the stairs. <gasps> A story of my life, just eating some chocolate. Wow. Do you know what makes me happy? No matter how many times I walk into this room smelling my daughter's smell, just makes me so happy. Anyway, nursery, 
done. I've got so much stuff done today. Spencer's gonna be absolutely buzzing when he gets home. Ooh, she'll love it. She loves coming back and it being all clean. She's got a little shopping bag down there. And it is all looking fresh as a daisy. So there you go, her little nursery. She'll love this. Well done, Imo. Pat on the back. Love you, Huns. Now I just wanna lie on the floor. Oh, I actually just wanna lie on the floor. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. And this is the spare bathroom. This is the family bathroom. I've gone through so much. I've sorted through so much in here. So I've got sort of bath stuff up here, skincare stuff for people to use when they're here. Um, love that toothpaste, some crayons that Renee is not having it, she just puts them in her mouth. I need to get rid of this box and get some more shampoos and conditioners down there, but Renalia's shampoos and conditioners and bits like that, so this is exciting. So these are the next drawers we have to go through, mine and Spencer's drawers, but I've ordered stuff for my Kia to come. Plus, I mean, look at all this, so much stuff of this doesn't fit me anymore. Lots of this is leggings, bras, sports stuff that I just need to get rid of, so I need to go through these, which is a whole nother day, and I'm closing that and ignoring it. This is all my stuff for hair, and this is just a caddy of like stuff of Renalia's actually I could take that and put that in the spare bathroom I will sort that another day and then this is our bathroom this is the little drawers that I've gone through I've got some makeup products down here not makeup skincare products down here and then just shampoos and conditioners up here which I absolutely love there is still so much to do but honestly I'm absolutely knackered so Spencer's been dropping the Tesla back today because we had it on loan for a week which was really nice and so he's driving back and then he's going to get Renalia and then we're going to have some steak for dinner Ooh, lovely with some homemade sweet potato chips some broccoli and I want some mushrooms but Spencer can't have mushrooms he never wants to cook I've been cooking actually and he's been loving it we've been just really taking it in turns with the jobs at the moment I think it's because I've been I've had content that I've already uploaded it means that I'm sort of ahead of my content but I'm really loving these sort of real time this isn't real time but being able to just document these couple of weeks and then go on to the next couple of weeks of pregnancy I'm tired though, I'm tired and I'm really hungry. But I don't know what I want. Because like the thought of bread at the moment, even though I've been eating so much, is making me feel a bit like dry mouth. I need to drink some water, that's what I need. Aww. Did you hear the baby's heart? Did you hear baby? Baby. Did you hear baby? Where's the baby up here? that was so you have to laugh you have to laugh because otherwise what can you do so my mum was meant to be coming down to help us but she couldn't bless her my dad's not in the country Spencer's family can't get this way um they drive way too far to come so we had no help so we took Renalia to the scan poor girl thought that well I clicked on didn't I mm. Spencer was parking the car and then I was in there with the lady behind the reception who got a bit awkward because it was a little bit awkward yeah. Renalia was just screaming Renalia was staring at her like I just want to go to the door Renalia was running to the door mm. so basically Renalia thought that it was um Carmel the lady who does her tongue so Renalia thought she was in a waiting room to go and get her tongue um yeah, massaged yeah and she was just screaming screaming i offered her chocolate i was showing her things on the phone everything that normally would tempt her in the sense of like wow yeah. not having any of it spencer turns up he's like what's going on believe it turn up and then yeah bless her <gasps> poor girl poor girl because she must be so she's been in so many different situations and scenarios with hospital doctors consultants etc mm -hmm. She's probably just like, really? So then we were trying to explain, like, this is for mummy, this is for mummy. We get into the room. The lady was amazing. Yeah. Daisy, her name was. She was just 
so calm and like take your time don't worry yeah, she was um, nice. yeah didn't you feel like she made us feel so much more comfortable because yeah. i felt so awkward mm. i felt so guilty because i was like poor Anelia. i didn't know if there was someone in after us or yeah. anything like that so we're like oh god we yeah we got a time limit here yeah so then she was just continuously screaming spencer was showing her something on the phone and holding her and then i got my i tried giving her milk she wasn't having any of it yeah. and then um the only thing, I can't believe it, it's going to make me emotional, but the only thing you might have seen on the video that calmed her down was hearing her sibling's heartbeat. Mm. Like, sorry, that is just... Yeah, she's proper chill then, wasn't she? She just weren't, and the lady was like, normally it like makes them go a bit like, you know, they don't like that sound, but yeah. she just instantly staring at the screen, saying baby, like going, B -b 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 wasn't she? Yeah. Just so, I was like, there's a baby. And it was just... It made all of the screaming for, for, for poor her and poor us mm. so worth it because it was just like, I don't know. Oh, it was a magical moment really, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like, I really wanted to film the, the whole thing but and I was worrying, thinking oh, we're not going to be able to but then also, you know, Renee is our baby too and she has to take priority but mm. they said the baby's very chill. I'm glad she was there though. Like, I'm, so was I. Like, so was I. It was like meant to be, wasn't it? Yeah, just so. It was meant to be. The baby was holding their hands over their face yeah. but then we saw one at the end didn't we where their hands well, wasn't Renalia was like going like this on Mills' stomach and then yeah. it, it went, um, and then it cued to like a 4D image like <laughs> them trying to cover their face <laughs> yeah. like oh stop giving me hits to be fair she was so gentle she was really gentle mm. when she was doing it um, and then she starts feeding so I'm breastfeeding on the table while the lady's trying to take all the measurements yeah um, you got to laugh I said to the lady fuck it <laughs> what can you do yeah I know <laughs> What could we do in that situation? But it was magical, mm. wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Let's look at the photos, though. Okay, let's look at the photos. You get them out. We didn't even manage to look at the photos because we were rushing. But basically, Spencer, because I'm 17 weeks and three days, so we definitely would know the gender by now. Um, what's that, Dad? Um, yeah, so basically, Spencer's emailed. I don't know what's going on. Spencer got the ladies to email some sort of event planner, organiser, I don't know who he's working with. If he's working with every last detail like did, we did before, then fair play, because I love her. But he's doing all of the gender reveal this time, so I'm not involved in anything of it, which is making... The only thing you've asked me to do is get Renalia a dress and buy my own dress, yeah. which is fair enough, because I'd like i like that anyway. Mm -hmm. But I kept asking, like, what's the theme, blah, 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 but he's not really giving anything I've away. I've them before. Smell them. Yeah, they smell like print, sort of. Yeah, they smell very, like... I've never had a scent from them before. Yeah. So I'm not sure. But baby's measuring. No, know. keep looking through them. Keep looking through them. But baby's measuring 17 weeks, three days. So that's really positive. Um, See the lip shape and the nose shape there. Nose, yeah. nips. It looks actually like quite a button nose. Yeah. It does actually look like a mum's nose. Yeah. Your mum's got a little... button on the end, no? Yeah, true. Yeah. No, this baby's going <laughs> <laughs> oh my god when we were looking at the scan spencer's like the scan looks more like your side profile than mine and renalia definitely has spencer's but now looking at the photos it looks so like you i don't know do you want to show one yeah show one uh, look at the little baby it's amazing wow isn't that amazing oh my god more like me there yeah. More like me there, but with the one with the little button, looks more like your mum's. So amazing. Wow, look at the 4D one. Look at the little 4D one. Wow. Oh my God, baby, look. I know. It's magic, it's magic. Nadia's just gone to sleep now, but yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying mm. this sort of 17 week update. Yeah, look, this was when Renalia was not having any of it, the baby. <laughs> feel so grateful feel so blessed feel so lucky and i love being able to share this with you guys so yeah obviously you're coming along with our gender reveal and stuff like that but so far i was I'll just be, i'll be in touch with that yeah. one to tell you what's going on oh so exciting hey well we love you yes bye everybody now i'm ending it i really hope you enjoyed this video angels i've got so many more vlogs coming i've got so many more videos coming i've got just lots of different content so i'm so excited so oh make sure you subscribe and yeah i'd be so grateful if you do love you guys until next time i'm gonna love you and i'm gonna leave you bye